This team is unique in the fact that these guys have been under three different coaches. Some guys were recruited by one coach two coaches ago. They're so cohesive and it makes no sense that they are. The teammates I had, the players I had, I never made closer with anybody in my whole life. These guys are, you know, my best friends, you know, my brothers. Before it was Coach McCall, we had each other. Beyond basketball, we were going to have each other. There was a lot of different emotions going around of what am I going to do, am I going to leave, or do I want to stay? We had a, a players only meeting, and we talked about it, and we just said that we're going to stay here for us, and we're going to play for us. No matter who the coach is going to be, we're going to play for us, no matter what they come in and try to do. A lot of times when there's turnover, there's immediately guys tend to leave and go their separate ways, and uh, these guys didn't do that. My biggest thing is, is could we get these guys completely focused and consumed with the team? Could we get them to be bought in, to be able to sacrifice minutes, points, rebounds, and they, they got completely consumed with, okay, if I have to sacrifice my own individual accolades for the betterment of the team, I'm willing to do that. He said, we all have the same goal, how can I help you get there? And I think they bought in immediately and then the rest of it, the next 31 games or whatever, has been magic. So, you know, you came in there and you just liked his demeanor, how he moved, how confident he was. He's an awesome coach. You know, I enjoy being coached by him. He gives us a lot of freedom and he, he really trusts us. And that's something that I haven't seen from other coaches in the past. Let's talk through blue right now because we're getting all discombobulated in blue. He's probably one of the most energetic coaches I've been around. Hey! It seems like it's working, and it's really amazing to me the job that he's done. Oh, 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 oh. Let's do that whole thing again. Let's do that whole thing again. I told you we were going to get a bucket, though. They made a pact to each other uh, to get bought in and get bought in early on the things that we were preaching, and they did that. The expectations were high, but I think they surpassed the expectations early on. Starting with their first game of the year, a win against Georgia at Athens, you beat Georgia, you've made a statement in, in day number one of the season. You know, getting off on the start that we did to start the season, being able to win at Georgia, being able to win at Illinois, I think really kind of jump-started us, and those guys really started to believe. It was one of the most emotional days um, I've ever had as a coach. It was the day before we left to play Dayton on the road. It was originally supposed to be a light practice before we got on the bus and uh, we were doing a, a drill that we do every day. And I just jumped up, jumped up the contested shot, and I ran past and I just, and I just landed wrong and it was, that was it. Casey hurt his ankle. He's a good player. NBA scouts are looking at him, preseason player of the year. He jumped up and his ankle was like this and he came down and his ankle was like that. You know, at first it was, it was like, okay, I, I hurt my ankle, get up. And then when I looked down, I was like, oh, I hurt my ankle. I saw an emotional group. Everyone was genuinely concerned for Casey, his career, uh, and his health going forward. When I was getting rolled out on the stretcher, you know, Trey came to me and I heard it in his voice. I saw tears in his eyes. Trey McClain is one of the toughest people, you know, I know. He was, he was just crying, he was bawling. It's genuine, it's genuine love in our locker room. When we got to the hotel, I just talked to those guys that, that, that were built to handle whatever adversity's been thrown at us. And as long as we play the game unselfishly, and play it for each other, uh, we can compete with the best teams in the country. And Dayton's one of the best teams in the country. But you guys have to believe you can win. And they did, and they went out there and won the game. They didn't flinch for one second. They continued to play and play for each other. And right then and there, it, 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 was, a, it was a powerful moment to, to go through that and then see our guys rally together and, and, and continue to have success um, was powerful. Playing here at Chattanooga has been probably um, really the first place where everybody's like a big family, from the fans to uh, the staff to the players. It's like, it feels like the city kind of raised me in a way. You know, whenever I have kids, you know, I, I can look back into Chattanooga and say, you know, hey, I was that year in you know, 2016 when we went to the NCAA tournament. This town was starving uh, to be back in the NCAA tournament and starving for a basketball program to have success again. Uh, at the highest level, but this group's still hungry. They're not satisfied with just being in the NCAA tournament. They want to advance, and uh, I think with some of the non-league wins that we were fortunate enough to have, I think they believe they can compete with some of the best teams in the country and are excited about whatever seed and opportunity we get next week.